Well, it's Sunday, Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to everyone out there, but the news doesn't rest. We've got two leaks related to Zelda games to talk about today, and one of them happens to be for Nintendo Switch 2. Now, this is really exciting, and if you're enjoying these rumors and these leaks and all this stuff, I would appreciate it if you would like the video. Maybe subscribe to the channel as well, as we're on the road to 150,000 subscribers this year. We're going to go ahead and take a look at this first one, because it has the most mystery around it, and that is this thing posted up by Papa Genos, who is a fellow YouTuber, but has also leaked a few things over time, such as the fact that Metroid Prime Remaster would be shadow dropped during the February Direct. He was the only person I could find that was a, any, saying anything about it. So maybe he's got inside information. We don't really know. He doesn't upload a ton of videos to YouTube. And it says, Tears of the Kingdom had a great Zelda design. I think we are severely overdue for a game where Zelda is the main character. Seems to me a Hyrule adventure like that is something fans want now's the time now that seems innocuous enough until you realize that he dropped a hint if you look in here if you look at every capital letter so we have t h i n s all right what is that t h i s that is this and then we go to the next capital letter which is another i and an s is and then look at this capital a that's uh and then look we have h i n s T. Put it all together, and it's this is a hint. Now, obviously, what it's hinting at is something related to a Zelda game uh, starring Princess Zelda as the main protagonist. This probably is not related to the next generation of, you know, Zelda in terms of like what Aonuma is working on their next big project because things from the Zelda team don't really leak, especially this early. Those leaks only begin once it spreads to other parts of Nintendo, such as their marketing departments. So, from this point of view, I think that if this is some sort of project, it's either a spin off or maybe even a top-down game that's being made by an outside studio. Perhaps Grezzo, who made Triforce Heroes and did the Link's Awakening remake and Majora's Mask and Ocarina of Time 3D, maybe they have some sort of Zelda starring role game coming. Again, a top-down one or some sort of spin-off game. So I could definitely see that happening. I obviously don't know. This is just a rumor and of the rumors, this is not the most reliable of ones because Papa Genos doesn't have a massive track record, but he has had some stuff right. Now, Another rumor we have to get into, and this is one that, I mean, look, it's not announced, right? But based on the source, it's pretty damn reliable, and there's actually multiple rumors backing up this very thing. So we got to head on over here to Midori. Midori, by the way, is a Sega and Atlas League who knows a few things going on at Nintendo and has been considered to be as reliable as well-known Nintendo insider Pioro. And she put out here, there is a project at Nintendo with the code name U King. Oh, remember those dashes in there. It might be related to the rumors of the next Nintendo console codename. That's all Midori said. But this guy named Skipper points out something, and I'd fact check this, and it's absolutely true. This person says, this is an enhanced version of Breath of the Wild. Breath of the Wild's codename is U-King, which it is. For Switch 1 ports, Nintendo likes to add the suffix dash S to a game's codename, but this one has dash O suffix, which they have never used before. I think this is for the successor. Uh, Midori goes on to note that yes, and they used minus C for 3DS because 3DS is CTR. Now, all of that checks out. And what I find fascinating, uh, talking about a Breath of the Wild version for Nintendo Switch 2, this isn't even the first time we've heard about it. If you guys go back to those Gamescom rumors, it was rumored Nintendo was showing off a Breath of the Wild demo to select developers at Gamescom 2023. And that demo featured instant loading, higher frame rates, and higher resolution, but they didn't really dive into all of the various details. Also, I would think if this is getting a full-on port, Nintendo may even take advantage of things like ray tracing and other features as well to make the game look as good as possible. Now, if you've noticed in this video and our last video, the Everything We Know About Switch 2 video, you'll note that we've been using this Breath of the Wild footage that is running off an emulator, if you can't tell, and has enhanced features, frame rates, and uh, textures, and lighting, and all of that. And I've been doing this because I've had a suspicion and I've heard some rumblings about this game coming to existence. I don't have any new information to add, so I'm not pretending I'm a leaker or anything. It's just this lines up with things that I've heard, things that have already been rumored, and Midori is a very, very reliable insider. Breath of the Wild is also the most popular Zelda game of all 
time. And I think we're going to see a number of Switch games get natively ported over to Switch 2 with enhanced features. Now, we don't know, obviously, if this is just going to be an update patch provided. Well, I think we kind of know because... The way they're codenaming this is the same way they codenamed all those Wii U games coming over. Now, you might go, well, what does the O mean? Well, there's another rumor floating around uh, that the codename of Switch 2 isn't actually Mufi. Uh, instead, it's rather Ounce or OZ. And this is based on a couple of data miners who have been denying the code name that people have been talking about and really hinting towards this uh, ounce name. It apparently appeared in a file in the 16.0.0 update to the Nintendo Switch and a bunch of stuff. So maybe that is the indicator there, the, the, uh, the O for ounce, the C on the 3DS for CTR. It would make some sense. In the end, all we know is that, well, we don't really factually know anything for sure. But what we know based on the rumors is that yes uh, enhanced version of breath of the wild seems to be on its way to the switch too and this is one of those first uh sort of hints out there that is a bit more concrete when it comes to trying to figure out something that's going to be on switch too kind of ironic that something is the game that launched the nintendo switch but uh you know it's a really popular zelda game is it shouldn't be anyone surprised Nintendo's going to bring it back and probably sell a 10 million plus copies of a remaster remade version with enhanced everything and who knows maybe they decide to toss some new content and maybe content that helps it better connect the tears of the kingdom I don't know uh, you guys are awesome though and I want to thank you so much for being here I love days like today because we get to remind our mothers how much we love them you should be doing that anyways but hey days like today are nice we all need reminders in our life with how busy and hectic everything is so I do appreciate days like today i appreciate my own mother my grandparents the mother of my children uh and i hope you guys appreciate your mothers as well hopefully they've been a positive influence in your life i want to thank you all for being here and i'll catch you in the next video